This operation is called Exercise Wagon Trail, and it's a demonstration of how versatile the Army is these days in getting men and equipment about by land, sea, and air. Just to demonstrate that there's plenty of bounce left in service life, that's how the Royal Corps of Transport moves petrol about. Perils of press button warfare may occupy many people's minds. But the more matter-of-fact manner of supplying an army with men and machines has brought observers from several foreign services to see this show of mobile versatility. They called it Exercise Wagon Trail to remember the Transport Corps' earlier days. In the 18th century, they followed a marching army with carts and wagons. A clumsy business compared with such a sophisticated system. The Royal Corps of Transport, RASC as it was known until 1965, now has its own maritime units. Here's one way of moving defender tanks across the Solent. that are manned by the army, Her Majesty's Army vessels as they're called, are something fairly new. Tank landing craft are the army's own little navy, flying their own army ensign. Amphibious duck seems to go on forever, but for the Corps' new versatile role, there are umpteen jobs for vehicles that can deal with any kind of surface. The helicopter, used by all three services of course, and now the hovercraft, undergoing RCT acceptance trials. 